Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. The position of Admiral is the highest position in the Navy, where they are under the Fleet Admiral. The Admirals are people who have experience in the Navy and also have tremendous strength. Admirals are also elected people where only those who are considered strong in the Navy can fill their positions. In fact, it was the Gorosei themselves who directly appointed the person or candidate for the Admirals. With all the advantages and awesomeness of their strength, it is only natural that then admirals become terrible figures. Moreover, they have the power of devil fruit, which is also very extraordinary. However, are they stronger than the Yonko? But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Although some fans think so, in reality the Yonko have a superior status compared to the Admirals. This is also the reason why they are called the Four Emperors. There is some evidence of how the Yonko are much stronger than the Admirals. First, the words from Garb when they were about to capture Rayleigh. At that time, the Navy received an emergency call after Luffy beat one of the Celestial Dragons. As a result, the Navy sent their troops. However, at the same time, they learned that there is a big fugitive in Sabaody, namely Silver's Rayleigh. When the Navy tried to capture Rayleigh, Garp gave a warning. According to Garp, the government will not be able to face two legends at the same time because the risk of defeat and losing their troops can be very large. Rayleigh is not part of the Yonko, but his strength is considered equal or almost on par with the Yonko. Second, Sengoku once said that they would never be able to defeat Whitebeard and his army with military force. The Navy admitted that they needed better tactics as well as a surprise attack to defeat Whitebeard. This is proof that the strength of one Yonko is still far more powerful than the entire Navy. Because Whitebeard's one attack, it could sink or destroy an entire Navy. Third, Oda has so far only shown that these admirals have the power of equal or slightly above the Yonko commanders. For example, when Marco faced Kizaru their battle was practically even. In fact, Marco had the upper hand until he was caught off guard and his arms were cuffed by sea stones. Jozu was able to match Aokiji's strength, until then he was also caught off guard. Sabo was able to match Fujitoro's strength. In fact, what's interesting is that Doflamingo, who incidentally is a Shichi Bokai had no trouble attacking Fujitoro. Dolphy could have killed Fujitoro. You can't imagine what a Fujitoro had to deal with Kaido. Fourth, during the war at Marine Fort, Whitebeard had launched a devastating attack. The attack was then restrained by three admirals who were there. The question is, what if then at that time there were only two admirals who resisted his attack? Will the attack be able to withstand? What if more than one Yonko attacked Marine Ford? Would they be able to withstand the attack? When Shanks challenged everyone to attack them at the end of the Marine Ford War, even Sakazuki seemed hesitant to attack Shanks. So, in conclusion, the admiral is indeed the most powerful and formidable figure of the navy. They are the spearhead of the pirate extermination organization. However, even though their strength was great, there were still Yonko who were far superior to the three admirals. Yeah.